Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the difference between statistical learning or statistical analysis versus machine learning. You might have heard these terms interchangeably if you do data analysis or you do machine learning. So let's take a look at what is the difference between the two. I also made another video which has gotten quite a few likes on the differences between machine learning and deep learning or representation learning. I'll leave a link in the video description if you are interested in seeing that video as well. So let's dive right into it. But before we dive right into it, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics in different technologies. So let us take a look or at what is statistical learning. So statistical learning basically is when we use statistics to infer something about a sample. So we take a sample from the population and we want to infer something about the population from that sample. Okay, So we use the sample to infer something about the population. Statistical analysis strongly relies on the different variables and the relationships with each variable. So when we do statistical analysis, we always focus what are the uh, categorical and the numerical variables. We try to dissect the relationship of a categorical categorical variable with a numerical variable or the relationship between multiple numerical variables with each other and try to find out different relationships between the variables. It is primarily used on structured data. So when we, when we do statistical learning, we primarily focus on tabular structured data where we want to infer something from the data. It relies on asking questions of your data. So you try to ask questions about your data, about your observations, about your variables, and you try to form hypothesis. So the main key of statistical analysis is you try to form hypothesis and you either uh, and you try to establish means by which you can reject the hypothesis or or you, you can prove an alternate hypothesis. So that is what statistical learning focuses on. It also relies on different statistical concepts such as hypothesis testing, t-test, p-test. For example, you want to find out what is the probability uh, of of something happening so um, or you know whether you can fail to reject or reject the null hypothesis test and different tests like an ANOVA or the analysis of you know, you know, variance so you want to analyze the variance uh, of you know, you know, different means of different categories of the observations so it, it relies on different statistical concepts it focuses on interpretable learning from the observation so the main key of, of statistical analysis to get key assumptions to form key assumptions and to find out whatever we can interpret from our observations or our model that we try to form. Statistical analysis also studies multi linearity of the variables or the or the independent variables and are they related with each other and it relies strongly on assumptions and the models are highly interpretable. When we say interpretable is you can actually find out why the model is generating the results or the predictions that it is making. It Since since we use statistics, we try to find out the explanation for everything that the model is, uh, is probably predicting. On the uh, And it is also used a lot in research as well as in predictive ana analytics. Now let's uh, take a look at machine learning. Machine learning on the other hand is used to work on large quantities of data and it, it is used for finding out patterns in the data. It relies on three types of uh, techniques, supervised, unsupervised or semi-supervised semi machine learning techniques to train the models. I am not going to talk about reinforcement learning which is also a part of that but we can skip that for now. The models are of two types. They may be explainable models like decision tree. The similar models that you use with statistical learning are also available in, in, in machine learning like logistic or, or linear regression or KNN. So it, may, it, it's, it is a combination of explainable models or models which are non-linear and non-explainable. For example, if you use artificial neural networks or deep learning, you cannot get the explanation on why the model is predicting certain things. So it, it, it relies on both. The beauty of machine learning is that it can work with structured, semi-structured and big data. So it can work with large quantities of data, structured or semi-structured. The data can be in raw text files, CSV file, audio files, video files or in tabular format. So it can work on a large set of data. It lays a strong focus on cleaning. When you, when you work with machine learning, since it works on so many types of data and different types of data, there's a strong focus on how you clean the data how you prepare the data, how you structure the data and you shape the data to make it consumable by the models. For example, neural networks can work only with numerical data. So how you can make 
the data in the specific numerical format how you can normalize the data and how you can make it consumable by by the network so even if you are using text data or you are using uh, image data how can you make it in a format that it can be consumed by the machine learning models it relies strongly on creating base you know reference models which is used for your initial prediction and then you compare the reference models with other models that you use to train your data and then you make a comparison as to which model is giving you know prediction so it is kind of an experimental stage as it's called data science right so in data science you always you run an experiment you make the observations you note down the observations and then again you run the experiment and note down the different observations and you try to standardize the procedure and compare the observations and it is primarily used in predictions for you know based on learnings from past data and as we explained right machine learning is used to predict data based on large volumes of of data sometimes the results may be explainable sometimes it may not be explainable and it can work on different types of data so i hope you have got an understanding on the difference between statistical learning and machine learning and yes there's a overlap between the both because in phases like exploratory data analysis phase in machine learning we do use uh, you know statistics and also in statistical learning we do use certain machine learning models as well but i hope you got a clear understanding on the difference between the uh, these two domains and they are very important in your data analysis and and data science journey so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a comment on what you liked or any other video that you want me to make and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics across different technologies thank you